Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can manage your social media plan with Google Sheets. So if you're a social media manager, I recommend you to create a template like this. So these are the templates that you can use if you want to plan your social media content, whether it's yearly, monthly, weekly, even daily. So before you start creating your social media content, you're going to want to pay attention for several things first. The first thing you will want to pay attention to is the business goal that you will want to achieve. So over here, I have these two columns that shows business goal one and business goals two. And you can set the business goals that you would want to achieve first before you curate your content and before you create more content. You can have as much goal as you want, but I personally prefer to stay with just one or two goals so that it's going to make it easier for me to focus on what I'm trying to do. Creating some sort of goal is going to make it easier for me to choose the type of content to create a content pillar as well as to create some kind of audience niche for my business. And then the next thing that you're going to want to create is the social media goal. So you're going to have a business goal and then you're going to have a social media goal. For example, you will want to increase the web traffic for Instagram by 25% or you might want to double your Instagram follower or maybe you want to get 100,000 views on TikTok in one month or something like that. Once you've done that, you're also going to want to create a content pillar. So content pillar is actually several types of content that you would want to create and you will want to create all of your content based on your content pillar. Content pillar can actually come in several form. So you can have your content pillar in the form of education or maybe entertainment or maybe promotions. You can set up some content pillars that are going to help you create a more focused content. Then, once you set up your content pillar, you can go to the content pieces, such as what type of content would you want to create? Is it an Instagram post, Facebook post, TikTok video, etc. And then, after that, you can go to the tactics on how and when you will want to post your content. So once you're done with the big idea, we're going to go to the slightly smaller idea, which is the yearly plan. Over here, I have a sheet that says monthly view. Before I'm going to plan my content one by one daily, I'm going to want to see the monthly view of my content. So what it does is that you can see over here, I have all of the month from January up to December, and I also have some wordings, some text that mark the important days of each month. So you can see on February, we have Valentine's Day and on March, we have International Women's Day and so on and so on. So this is going to be very important depending on what your business is. For example, if your business is a type of business that focus on women's need, you're going to want to mark the International Women's Day and create, let's say, a campaign or some post regarding about that day and obviously on February we have Valentine's Day which is a day that a lot of people would like to celebrate and you don't want to miss the timing you don't want to miss the opportunity to create some kind of content that might be relatable to Valentine's Day but also relatable to your business so you can see that the type of days the type of important days that's happening on each month can also affect your business. So creating a yearly plan like this will definitely help you map out your content. You will not struggle around some days that you haven't prepared yet. Let's say you have Thanksgiving celebration in November and you would want to curate some kind of content for that specific month. You can prepare your content from days or even week, even months before that, instead of stumbling around and try to create a content um, in a very short amount of time. Now, once we're done with our yearly preparation, we can now go to the more detailed plan, which is the weekly view. Over here, you're going to see that I've had some columns that say social network, date, time, content plan, content format, copywriting, hashtags, etc. So over here, what you're going to do is you're going to want to map out the detail of your 
content or let's say you will want to put on which kind of social network will you put your content in is it facebook instagram tiktok linkedin etc you will want to also set up the date of when you will want to post your content as well as the content pillar in which that specific content is categorized to Remember in the beginning of the video, I told you about the content plan. So this is where we will want to classify our content according to its own content plan. And over here, you also will want to put on the details such as the content format. Is it carousel for Instagram or is it Instagram story or is it reels or is it some kind of Instagram post or is it, let's say, some collab post that you might do with other brand if you have any collaboration with other brand and you can also line up all of the copywriting or the hashtags so that when you want to post it you will not be confused on what are the hashtags should be or what are the copywriting should be those are the things that tends to happen in content creator daily life and you can also set up status you can create a status column to see whether your content is on progress or is it waiting for approval etc and then beside the status column i have the link column i usually put my already posted content over there so if i already post a content and i want to show to my boss or to my subordinate um, the uh, ready content I can just put the link of the posted content over there and then the link beside that is actually the asset in Google Drive so let's say the raw video that I've edited will be put in a form of link over there so any video that you're going to post you can put in some specific drive so that if you would want to recycle that video in the near future, you can do that simply by clicking on that link. All right, now that we've got the big idea and then we also already planned out the details of the content, this is another thing that I like to do, which is creating some sort of content library. So what it does is that every time I scroll on my social media and I've seen some particular content that I can recycle or maybe I get some inspiration out of it, I would like to put it on a sheet and then I would want to save the idea so that if I want to recreate that certain type of content, I'll be able to know what kind of content do I actually want to create. So in the sheet, usually I will put, let's say, the content pillar of that specific content, what kind of content pillar could that content be specified in, and then I also will insert the copy or a hashtag and I will also add the inspiration and usually on that inspiration I will put the link to the video that I would like to recreate and this is what my content library usually looks like you can always make it however you want to be with google sheets it's pretty easy to actually create some tables and then redecorate it however you want and that is it. That is how you can make a social media content calendar that are going to help you to plan your social media content with Google Sheets. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.